Welcome back to Call of the Wild. So yesterday I had a little bit of a mishap. I decided to do an electrical job for this customer who I've worked for before and well let's just say I didn't have the light switch down so the power was on and the circuit tripped out. But not only did the circuit trip out but the light actually itself got fried. So I'm sitting there for basically like an hour and a half trying to figure out why this light isn't coming on when there's power coming into the light but the light switch is not coming while well, the light itself is not coming on so I knew something was wrong well come to find out the light was completely fried and I wasted two hours of my time so in the end I didn't even get a chance to charge the lady but it's okay because she was a woman so I don't really feel too bad about it but yeah I wasted two hours of my time working for free and then after that I came back home and decided to uh, go over to a friend's house and go swimming with my girlfriend and just relax for the rest of the day. So yeah, I took off yesterday and it was a nice day and I really enjoyed it. So with that, I want to head on out and keep trying out this 300 Winchester mag. So we just got eyes on a couple of bulls cutting through this brush here. And I want to make sure we don't have a giant in the back somewhere, but there are definitely a few decent ones. All right, well, it looks like he's stepping out here at 140 and I don't see anything else around. Except for this three that we saw in the front. So we'll hold off on him. But yeah, let's get on this big four here. He seems like he's trying quite a bit. Went for double lung and he should be smoked. Yep, he's going down. Let's see if we can't find that three. I think we got a liver shot. Yep, I was going to say... I mean, we had it right behind the front shoulder, but he was trotting, so in that case, we would have had to hold it right on the front shoulder in order to get double lung, so I think we still got liver. There's one there, and there's one right there, just like I thought. I don't know which one is which, but we'll be able to tell- Holy! Uh-oh. Got a stampede of elk here. That's the big one. We'll pick him up second. So this is actually the second one. And we did catch liver. <laughs> so stomach, intestine, liver will give you 100%. Yeah, you can see we just missed the lung on that, but definitely 100%. Not bad. Let's take a look at this one here. This one we should have got double lung for sure. And we got a single lung, but 90% on the quick kill on that. Not bad. 90% at 97 yards out. 821 on this bull. Not a bad looking bull. So we have a medium sized bull out here at about 300, but before we take the shot, you're probably thinking, wait, why didn't you just turn the light switch off? That way you know the power is off for sure. Well, the lady actually told me that the light switch was off and apparently that wasn't the right switch. So I thought that the switch was off and that goes to show you that you shouldn't trust other people just because they say something, it doesn't mean it's always right. Always double check for yourself and that was a lesson I learned. And it cost me probably like a $150 light fixture. But that's besides the fact. So wait till he picks his head up and... That looked pretty good. He's down. Nice. And heart shot at 261. Now that is a beautiful centered heart shot. Nice. And it was a gold as well. Oh. That's a good buck. I'm pretty sure that's the buck that we saw. At him trotting off over there? It sure is. He'll slow down for just long enough for us to take the shot. And he's down. Very nice shot and our moose didn't even spook. I kind of want to take a shot on this bull here at 220. I want to go for a heart shot. And that way when he spooks, the big bull should come back. It will give us time to get closer, set up a tripod, and go for a shot. Oh, look, perfect. And we smoked him. We did get... This is very impressive to me. We ended up going right through the shoulder and smoked. We got a single lung. What did we get? Right lung, heart, and shoulder blade at 227. Perfect shot. 866 on him with a trophy rating of 222. That is the white tail. All right, we might as well grab our buck. Real decent buck that we took down with the 300. Very nice. Liver stomach shot on the trot at 264. Ended up with uh, 222 for the trophy rating on him. Very nice. So we got a real nice bull elk out here. He's about 250 out. I think we should be able to get double lung from here. Look good from here. Uh, I believe that's a different bull. Yeah, that's a different bull. 
because <laughs> our big bull is down right there. Nice. All right, here he is. I've actually been watching this bull for a little while now, and I think he's going to be close to a 900. Let's find out. 927 score, double long shot at 207 yards. Let's take a look at the shot here. You can see we hit a little bit high again on the lung, but that seems to be working out pretty well. So yeah, go to the center of the lung and go up just a little bit, and it seems to be pretty well, especially on moose. And that bull just came from right here. If you go to what outpost is nearby here. Uh, actually, we're, well, here's Norden. So if you just go straight to the west side here, there's a kind of like two lakes. This little lake here, we have a need zone right here. 9.30 until 13. So we just got up in our first stand here and we got a real nice whitetail buck. Let's go for a shot. He's down. Nice. I thought I saw another. Oh, right there. Holy, that thing's a giant. Come on, give me a shot. Wow. That thing looked like it could have been close to a diamond, but he's only a two. So I would love to take a shot on him if we get a chance. Put it right on the front shoulder and he should be smoked. Where was he? Oh yes, he's down. Now this is a pretty good buck here, but he's nothing compared to the other one that we just got. Let's find out how we did. 254 on him. Ended up with a double lung shot. He actually weighed 203, so very nice shot and a really nice buck. He was only 68 yards away, but this is the monster. He's not a diamond, but barely. I bet he would be like a 9, 948 or something like that. Look at the mass on that buck. Incredible. Wow. Let's pick him up. And 281. Okay. There is something majorly messed up with this buck. It says that he actually weighed 236 pounds, but they can't even weigh that much. So, I mean, I would assume that this would have been a diamond now that I look at it. Yeah, with a trophy rating of 281. Um, I think we just took down a diamond potential white tail with a 300 Magnum. And I'm not even mad though, because he was majorly glitched out. 236 pounds. And the fact that it said he was a two minor, he's a giant. And the fact that we already have a 996 and a 1000 scoring true rack and a 992 scoring uh, diamond white tail true rack that we took down with the bow. But I mean, honestly, yeah, I would say that this should have been a three very easy, especially with the weight. But either way, he's a monster. Let's take a look at that shot. 155 yards out. Looks like we made a right lung liver stomach shot. And yeah. Wow, uh, I feel like we should get him mounted just because, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we should get him mounted. We really should. All right, so let me actually show you where we just got that giant white tail. We are over here just at the uh, southwest of the Northern Eastern Outpost, right at this little lake right here. We spotted that white tail buck like right here. Now, I don't have any white tail need zone around here, so I don't know where he was hanging out, but all I do know is that we saw another doe over here and a couple other white tail here. So there must be a spot somewhere nearby. Well, on that note, I guess be careful when you take a shot at a level two because it could be a diamond. Although it's gonna be a glitch diamond, so it's really not a real diamond, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, I'm glad, like I said, we didn't get a glitch diamond. What we did end up getting was getting a monster white tail with a 300 Magnum, and that's pretty awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We put him on the wall here next to our real 1000 scoring diamond, true rack white tail, and our OG 1000 diamond white tail. This is probably one of the only 1000 diamond OG white tails in most trophy lodges. So yeah, that's pretty rare. I'm really happy to have him here. And this is our other 1000, but this is a true rack 1000 diamond white tail. So we decided to put him up here 
And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.